Shalom. Before I start, I want to give all honors and glories and praises to Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Yahweh Kakodash, Yahweh, which is the one true name of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Shai, who the world eagerly calls Jesus Christ, but his one true name is Yahweh Shai. Bahashim meaning coming in the name, Ba means coming in, Ha means the, Shah means the name, Raka meaning spirit, Kodash meaning holy. Double honors to Yahweh Bashim Yahashai, and double honors to the elders and the apostles and bishops at Great Millstone, who will well and teach well, because those are the men who I learned this truth from through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahashai. Peace, blessings, salutations to the whole full elect, and shalom to you, sincere brothers that are scattered abroad, pushing forth this word in truth and sincerity. I am the brother Mashiach Arazaka, and pretty much this lesson is going to be taught as the Lord does kill according to the scriptures, and the Lord willing this lesson is edifying. And this is, um, uh, 2 Samuel uh, 2 and 6, or 1 Samuel 2 and 6, Salakia, 1 Samuel uh, 2 and 6, 1 Samuel 2 and 6, it says, The Lord killeth and maketh alive. He bringeth down to the grave and he bringeth up. See, so the Lord kills according to the Bible. Now, people believe that the angelic Satan is the one that's killing. No, the Lord kills. Okay, the Lord is the one that does the judgment. He casts the judgment on the earth. And how the Lord does it is he'll send the death angel after you to kill you. Okay, yes, the Lord does that. He'll send the death angel after you to kill you. Okay, and we can read that in Psalms. I think it's Psalms. Was it 7849? Yeah, here it is right here. This is Psalm 7849. It says, he casts upon them the fierce anger of his... It says, for he hath cast upon them... For he cast upon them, Salakia, the fierceness of his anger, wrath, and indignation, and trouble by sending evil angels among them. Verse 50, it says, he made a way to his anger. He spared not their soul from death, but have, but have, but gave their life over to the pestilence. So you see that? So you can't escape the judgment of the Lord. And the Lord... He does cast his judgment on the earth. And how he does that is he'll send a death angel after you to take you out of here. And you cannot escape the judgment of the Lord. Okay? The Lord is the one that's in control of life, good, death, and evil. Okay, see that? So the Lord, he'll send a death angel after you. This is why you want to fear the Lord. Because these bodies that you're in, and these bodies that we're in right now, you know, these bodies have expiration dates. All right? Each and every one of us individually in this truth has an expiration date for this body, for this flesh. So while we're living on the... On, on, you know, while we dwell on the earth and we live day by day, we want to be repentant and you want to be asked the Lord for mercy and forgiveness because the Lord, he can, he don't have to have mercy on you. He could, he could take you out of here. Read that again. This is Psalms 78, 49. It says he casts upon them the fierceness of his anger, wrath and indignation and trouble by sending evil angels among them. So you see that? So the Lord, he will send a deaf angel after you. Now listen to this, because I'll read it again. It says verse 59, verse 50. It says he made he it says he made a way to his anger. He spared he spared not their soul from death. And you see that? You can't escape the judgment of the Lord. It says, but gave their life over to the pestilence. So at the end of the day, you want to fear the Lord because you can't escape the judgment of the Lord. You can't. When your time is up, your time is up. Okay? Proverbs 16 and 4. It says, the Lord have made all things for himself, yea, even the wicked for the day of evil. See that? So the Lord is the one that's in control of life, good, death, and evil. The angelic Satan, he's not in control of nothing. He's doing the will of the Heavenly Father on the left-hand side. And he's in total order. All right? He didn't fight against the Heavenly Father. You got people that's using Luke 10 and, uh, 10 and 18, and they're using Isaiah 14 and 12 to say that Satan was cast out of heaven. He was kicked out of heaven, but no. Satan is in total order. When you go to Job, the first chapter, and Job, the second chapter, Satan pre presented himself in, uh, before the Lord, okay? And Satan, he does the will of the Heavenly Father on the left-hand side. So he follows the order of the Lord. He doesn't, he doesn't rebel against the Heavenly Father. He can't, okay? He's in total order, all right? So the Lord is the one that's in control of good and evil. It says, the Lord have made all things for himself. The Lord, the Heavenly Father, the God of Israel in the Bible, he made all things for himself. It says, yea, even the wicked for the day of evil. So you see, the Lord is the one that's in control of life, good, death, and evil. You can't escape the judgment of the Lord. Deuteronomy 32 and 29. 
Okay, I mean 39. Deuteronomy 32 and 39. It says, see now that I, even I am he, and there is no power with me. I kill and I make alive. You see, that's so what the Lord killed. The Lord kills. He said, I kill. The Lord killed. The Heavenly Father, he kills. Right? I kill and make alive. I wound and I heal. Neither is there any that can deliver you out of my hand. So it doesn't matter if you are if you are a wealthy dude with billions and trillions of dollars and you have, you know, high businesses of marketing ideas and you have your own business and you a CEO and you own all these companies and you have all these telemarketings and all of these high uh, 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 economic forms or whatever it is. You cannot escape the judgment of the Lord. You can have a master's degree, a bachelor's degree. You can be a doctor with a PhD. You cannot escape the judgment of the Lord. When it's your time to go, it's your time to go. Lord says when he kill, he kills and who he make alive. Right? Going back to uh, first, uh, first Samuel 2 and 6, he said that. Right? Even right here. He says, I kill and I make alive. So it's up to the Lord. You don't have no control over your life. That's why the scriptures say your life is nothing but a vapor because the Lord can take you out of here. Don't matter who you are. You don't you don't have authority or or, or determine your 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 lot, your destiny. OK, you can't say how long you're going to be here on the earth because you don't know. You don't know. Everything is of the Lord. It's of the Lord's will, not your own will. You know, that comes in with that own free will. Cause you don't have you don't have your own free will. You don't have control over what your which what, what your lot is or your destiny. The Lord does. Deuteronomy fifteen, uh, Deuteronomy thirty, Salakia, and fifteen, thirty and fifteen, right? And it says, "See, I have set before thee this day." Uh, so like it says, see, I have set before thee this day life and good and death and evil. See that? So the Lord, he's in control of life, good, death and evil. The Lord is in control of all of that. Not Satan. Satan is in total order. He's not doing nothing. He's not rebelling against the Heavenly Father. He's not going up against the Lord. He didn't fight against the Lord. That's not talking about that. Luke 10 and 18 and Isaiah 14 and 12 is not talking about the angelic Satan getting kicked out of heaven. That's not what that's talking about, man. That's not what that's talking about. That's madness. All right. Uh, Deuteronomy 30 and 19, it says, I call heaven and earth to record this day against you that I have set before you life and death. See, the heavenly father said that. Right. Bless and cursing. Therefore, choose life that both thou and thy seed may live. You see that. So the Lord is the one that is the, the establisher of the judgment to recommend if he wants you here on the earth and if he don't want you here on the earth. The Lord works in perfect balance, man. You don't have no control over your life and you don't know if you're going to be here in the next hour, two hours, the next day. It's all of the will of the Lord. It's all the will of the Heavenly Father. Isaiah 45 and 5. I am the Lord and there is none else. There is no power with me. I gird thee, though thou hast not known me. Verse 6. That they may know from the rising of the sun and from the west that there is none beside me. I am the Lord and there is none else. You see that? Our power, Yahweh Bashimasha, is the only true power. There's no other power out there. Verse 7. I form light and create darkness. I make peace and create evil. I, the Lord, do all these things. So the Lord creates peace and he creates evil. The Lord does it. The God of Israel, the Bible, he does it all. He does everything. Right? He does everything. He's in control of life, good, death, and evil, man. He's the whole director of the whole entire show. So at the end of the day, you don't have control over nothing. The Lord does. This is why you want to fear the Lord. The Lord kills. According to the Bible, yes, the Lord kills. The Lord casts his judgment on the earth. This is why we pray the Lord and ask the Lord for mercy. Because the Lord does not have to give mercy to you. Just because you know you're Hebrew Israelite, that don't mean nothing. The Lord doesn't have to give mercy to you. He can, he can take you out of here. He can, he can kill you. He can take you out of here. And that's judgment. So, hey, Lord willing, the lesson is edifying. On to the next one. Shalom.